This morning at approximately 7 o'clock a.m., employees of the Sea to Sky gondola noticed a down cable and saw several gondola cars on the ground. After initial assessment by the Sea to Sky gondola, the RCMP were called. The RCMP have been on scene since just after 8.45 a.m. and are working to determine the cause of the incident. Until such time as a cause has been definitively identified, police are treating this as a criminal in nature and have not ruled out that this is a deliberate act. We recognize the potential of what could have been and are thankful that no one was injured. We are currently assessing the damage, which will help us identify the cause of the incident. We will continue our investigation and release updates to you as soon as possible. The RCMP are presently working with Technical Safety BC and Doppelmeyer, and efforts are currently being made to walk the gondola line so that it can be properly inspected. At this time, the RCMP is asking anyone with information to please come forward, and that includes anyone that was in the area this morning between 4 o'clock a.m. and 9 o'clock a.m. This includes hikers, climbers, and campers, who may have been in the area of the gondola or the chief. Please remember that no detail is too small. At this time, Inspector Cara Triance will answer questions. Inspector, has the surveillance video been uh, reviewed as yet? At this time, we are working to make sure the area is safe. There's been um, police on scene since this morning, and I won't get into the specifics of whether or not uh, video evidence has been seen yet. What makes you guys believe it might be criminal in nature? At this time, we believe the cables were cut and there's a deliberate act of vandalism. There was graffiti there that was kind of anti-colonialization. Is that anything you guys are investigating? We certainly noticed that on scene, but that has nothing to do with our investigation at this point. Is this, the surrounding trails, are those being included in the scene as being closed? And is this being considered a crime scene? At this time, it's a crime scene. It's been closed by the police. The trails in the area can be hiked to the top of the chief. We know that there were witnesses that hiked to the top of the chief this morning. Uh, and we are, sorry, excuse me. We know that there were people that hiked to the top of the chief this morning. And we're asking that anybody in the area who did hike the trails come forward to speak to police. We are looking for witnesses. Um, the trails in the area may have been used to access the gondola line. Um, so at this point, we're asking that uh, while the police are on scene and continue to remain on scene conducting our investigation, that hikers uh, steer clear of that area and give us the space we need to conduct their investigation. We're talking about a very large geographical area for all of our police officers to cover. And so at this time, uh, any cooperation we can get from the public to clear from that area would be helpful. Is it known if anyone is in the backcountry that's accessed from the top of the gondola that might need assistance getting down? We don't believe anybody is in the area that needs assistance. Okay. Is there any indication of who might have done this? At this time, it's too early for us to discuss um, suspects in this investigation. We are in our preliminary stages of our investigation and um, are working on collecting evidence at scene at this time. Is the area considered toward the bottom of the mountain at the top? Um, the entire uh, Sea to Sky gondola has been affected by this. There are, are 31 gondola cars. Approximately half of them are on the ground. Thank you. At this time, if there's no more questions, thank you.